this summit is something that we're trying for the first time here and it's basically doing something from the community by the community for the community to learn about the principles of regenerative agriculture because we are faced with the great climatic threats and going forward this should be something that benefits the people the soil the economy and the food security The agroforest is a, a very sustainable land management strategy, okay? In a small piece of land, you can actually combine livestock, you can combine trees and combine crops, as opposed to the monoculture agriculture, as opposed to the monoculture forestry. So you have diverse products that you can get year in, year out. If you integrate different fruit products, integrate different livestock products, throughout the year, the farmer is often sustained with all his needs, from energy to food. We are basically people uh, animals and the environment. So we believe actually when we start with ourselves as people, we can do things. Uh, when we care for the environment, the environment can also care for us. We are going to have the theoretical part, the day one, which is today, just prepare them on what's expected. And then tomorrow and the third day, we are going to plant some trees, more so the indigenous trees. So we are here to connect ourselves bring the energies together and then close uh, all the gaps and bring a sustainable model that can support all the families in the villages. We're having a team building activity. It is an activity that uh, we are trying to replicate our agroforest after 20 years. We need to get the fruits out of these trees here. Like almost all the problems in the agriculture sector, regenerative agroforestry solves them. But mainly the soil degradation, or from the soil de degradation to the global warming effects, the climate change impacts. Sustainability is leaving it the same for the future generations. Regenerative is making it better for the future generation. Okay, perfect. This was the big, big theory day and I hope people realize that tomorrow we have some practical stuff happening. Lucky just takes them around for the planting. It's going to be a very, very hands-on practical day. I'm just excited to get to know how I can best design my plots to integrate them with other crops of my interest. I'm even excited at least be working with my members eh, around. Adako wa papari. Adako wa toke. Adako wa papari. So we know that on the lower side we'll have turmeric. Now on the upper side you can plant ginger. Agroforestry, it's going against our modern agricultural techniques of monocropping. It's bringing together our cash crops, our food crops, and placing them in an environment where there is natural vegetation, the forest ecosystem, so there's biodiversity, there's microbes in the soil. So we're not just focusing on the one crop that we're growing, but we're creating an entire ecosystem. And that is what agroforestry brings together and it benefits the biodiversity, it benefits the soil health, it benefits overall the yield of the crops that we grow there. So from this summit, the opportunities that we're trying to lay out for the farmers is having, first of all, a demonstration place to give the farmers a hands-on training. So this is a training center that Whoever, any farmer out there who wishes to start it, who has copied, who has felt the urge to have it, can come on ground and see how it is done and then go back and implement it. But then we will provide the missile knowledge and skills and guidance to the whole team. Sinai is the energetic foundation 
we came here and this, this space is so beautiful held in a way. Like you could see the love and the compassion from all the people, this community thing. So it was very easy to put this kind of topic of regenerative into this beautiful kind of melting pot of community. And then it just grows from there on. So we had an initial idea, but the people here from Zena really took it. They owned it and then they co-created it into something beautiful. It's, it's kind of magical in a way. The future is a paradigm shift from ego to eco. Like, what is in it for me, for what is in it for the community. So we believe interdepending on each other can bring us something that uh, can represent a common goal for us as people. We can replicate this project and make it even better in hundreds of locations of the world. <laughs> And this is the spirit we need here in Uganda and in the whole world. Done.